Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today Apple has introduced the first beta of iOS 15. Of course, this will come with a ton of new features and changes. So in this video, I will show you guys what's new on iOS 15 beta 1. Starting things off with the biggest surprise, iOS 15 will still support the iPhone 6S, the 6S Plus, and the iPhone SE. Those have been the oldest devices supported by iOS 14, and they still are supported on iOS 15, so that of course is great news. Moving on to the new features of iOS 15, you can still use Siri even though your device might be offline. Set an alarm for 10.35. And you can see right there, it will work. I'm not connected to the internet and Siri will work. Of course, doing things that do not require an internet connection. Moving on to Safari and here you will find actually some really cool new features. So on Safari here, you can see the new way to switch between different tabs. You can tap right there to go to the bar, of course, to type any address you want. And if you tap right there, you will go to the new tabs view. You can see how cool this looks. And of course, it's much, much useful as you will have here a view of all of your tabs. You can go easier to any one of them. And of course, you can use the X button to close any one of the tabs. You will have a new front page here on Safari which is customizable to tap the edit button and you can choose what you want to see there you can also rearrange any of those elements and even enable a background image for the safari front page you will find some new widgets on ios 15 here is one for the control center and there is this one right here for the contacts now this one is really important and very useful as well so you tap on the contact and it will go to the contact card now from here you can message them you can call them facetime them or just open this on the contacts app and you can 3d touch on it and of course it gives you the ability to edit the widget and you can choose which contact you want to see there now you can use this on all three sizes so the smaller one which i have here you can use the medium one and the bigger one as well which of course have more contacts moving to the control center you will see the new focus feature now the new focus feature on ios 15 will basically let you set like a status for your device and that will basically change the way like notifications are sent to you and all that so you can 3d touch here and choose whichever one of these you want you have work personal sleep driving and of course do not disturb or you can tap the plus button and it will take you to the settings where you can create your own one you can start with one of these like fitness or maybe gaming or reading or you can create your own custom one which is really really awesome moving on to the photos app and here we have some amazing new features and live text is one of them so here i have a screenshot that i have saved on my device and it still will recognize that just as normal text even though this is a picture i can just tap here and select this text copy that and of course use it anywhere i want this is a truly amazing feature now here we have a picture of a cat and if i tap this little i button right there it will show me all kinds of details regarding that picture it also will pop up this little icon right here and will basically show me results on lookup and on Siri knowledge based on what's on that picture so in this case we have a cat and it shows everything I have to know about this cat the cool thing about the spotlight search on iOS 15 is that it will let you search for pictures right on spotlight so you can see right here I search for screenshots it will show me my screenshots directly here I can of course just go ahead and tap on one of them to expand it and you can see right here I will have the ability to share it from here or I can just go ahead and tap on that little icon and it will take me to the photos app the weather app is new as well on iOS 15 you can see here the list of the cities it's animated it shows here the weather on that city that looks really really nice if you tap on it you can see the details here you can see the raindrops right there it just looks awesome and of course you will get even more details regarding the weather you can see the map right here so that's another new feature of ios 15 you can see everything here in details on the map really amazing and you will also get of course all the forecast here and you will get more details here regarding the weather air quality uv index sunset of course wind and everything else that you need to know regarding the weather 
the weather app totally redesigned and basically redone on iOS 15. When you go to the settings app on iOS 15, you will see a new design. Basically, you will get these kind of like cards right here that will separate different sections of the settings app. Now, when you go here and you go to accessibility, you can actually scroll all the way down here and you will find a new section that says per app settings. Now, going here, you can add apps from the list of the apps that you have installed on your device and then tap on it and you will have here all kinds of different settings that you can set specifically for that app. Now you can go ahead and add other apps here. Of course, edit this to remove any one of them and you can have different settings for different apps. FaceTime got a lot of new features and changes on iOS 15. Starting off with spatial audio that will make of course your FaceTime calls much much better and also voice isolation which will basically remove the background voices and noises when you're talking to someone on FaceTime. You will get a new grid view for like your group chats on FaceTime and you get basically the ability to share a link for a FaceTime call and even someone without an iPhone now can join in through FaceTime web which is really cool and you will have also the ability to make funk basically FaceTime calls with the portrait mode and you will also have a new feature called share play which basically allows you to share music movies and all that stuff with your friends while on a FaceTime call. On iMessage on iOS 15, you will get this new look when you send a bunch of pictures to someone. Now, of course, you can tap on one of them if you want to view it. You tap right here, you can react to that. Really, really cool. And of course, you will get now the ability to actually tap right there to actually download these to the photos library of your iPhone, which is again a great feature. Now, if someone that you're trying to type on iMessage has do not disturb on, you will actually get right here a notification that will let you know that that person actually has turned on the do not disturb mode. A big new feature that Apple has added to Find My on iOS 15 is the ability to now find your iPhone even though it might be turned off. So that's actually a game changer. We have to wait and see how that works. Of course, we have to do some tests for that, but that is really, really huge. And of course, we'll help a lot of people on finding their devices iOS 15 is also bringing new features to AirPods. So if you have your AirPods connected to your iPhone and you're moving away from them, it will actually give you an alert. And now you will also have the ability to have notifications announced to your AirPods. On the settings app, when you go to the wallpapers, of course, you will get a new wallpaper. So there's only one new wallpaper with iOS 15. Probably we will have more with iOS 15 beta 2. There's basically one for the light mode and one for the dark mode. So what we get here is also under privacy, you will find a new feature called record app activity. So if you enable this, you will basically get all the activity of apps right here and you will see everything that they are trying to track on your device. So that's really, really great. Of course, Apple always going huge actually on privacy. Of course, that's what makes iPhones really, really great. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Go ahead and subscribe for more videos. I will be releasing a ton of new videos on iOS 15. So make sure you do that to not miss any of those videos.